Hey, Ted, I'll be there soon, but I just can't leave David alone right now. Yeah, no, apparently they left for dinner at seven. Radio silence. Nothing, not a word. Anyway, I will be there soon, and I love you so much. Okay. Oh my god, imagine. <laughs> mm. This is not how I wanted to spend my night. Me neither. And David, I know what you're thinking. They're probably back at his house, listening to Frank Ocean, laughing and rehydrating. Yeah, the more I think about this, the more I realize it was way too early to have introduced this into the relationship. I mean, I thought I was being mature, but in actuality, it was just a classic case of self-sabotage. Chill, David. Hey. Yes, those are all valid points, but this is a moment of growth for you. Was it flawlessly executed? No. Would I have done it? Hell no. Okay, if this is intended to be helpful, you can leave now. But what I was gonna say is, if a cute guy that walks into your store is enough to unravel your whole relationship, you're better off knowing that now than any year from now. Do I wanna hear about it? I couldn't do it. Come in. I don't want to date Ken. I don't think I ever said date. Was it the lack of ground rules? Hi, David. I love you, and I really appreciate what you were trying to do for me, but I feel no need to meet up with other guys right now. Okay, I mean, if that's what you want, then I guess I'm, I'm fine with it. I mean, yeah. I'm easy either way. Oh. Also, th this is gonna sound totally petty, but mm -hmm. something about his shoes just made me feel really weird because they were like long and pointy, but then squared off at the toe. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. I know, I know, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, this is a really long hug now. Just one more minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 